Hey guys, so this is going to be the first episode of a series that I'm going to do. Um, it's going to be where I kind of go around to the local comic book shops, um, the video game shops, you know, stuff that this podcast is about and stuff that I'm interested in. And I, I just kind of introduce you to them, um, let you meet the owners, let them tell you a little bit about what made them decide to start this up. Um, I did my first episode today, which you guys are going to see following this. Um, and I visited Time Tunnel Comics in Hickory, North Carolina. I sat down with Jacob, which is a personal friend of mine and my personal comic book guy, um, the owner and operator of Time Tunnel Comics. Um, talked a little bit about, you know, why he picked this um, as a profession, why he wanted to start up a comic book shop, what got him into comic books. Um, and then at the end, he kind of went over some of his recent finds um, that he liked, that he's found this week. Um, and, and in the recent you know time. But um, it was a really great episode. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Um, make sure to stay till the end so you can see kind of what I found at Jacob's today. Um, I found some pretty cool stuff that I think you guys are going to like. So without further ado, I present to you Time Tunnel Comics and Jacob Edwards. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Jacob Edwards. I'm the owner of Time Tunnel Comics here in Hickory, North Carolina. Um, we are, we've been in business since 01. We started in a small little 500 square foot shack on Springs Road. Uh, we've been in business ever since then, serving the people of Hickory. Um, at this point, we're a four color institution in Hickory um, for all of like old comics, new comics, statues. Uh, and we've been at this location since I've owned it for about a year and a half. So uh, what really got me into comics was uh, as a kid, uh, well, even today, I'm severely dyslexic. So um, my mom got me into comics to help me learn how to read. So from the age of five or so, I've been reading comic books, collecting comic books. Um, loved them my whole life. Uh, a lot of people will grow out of the hobby. I never really had a lull. The only time that I had a dip in my collection was like for financial reasons. Um, and so when I was in college, uh, I wasn't really happy. What I, with what I was doing out of college, wasn't really happy what I was doing in college, finished college, and started working at the comic, the local comic store here, and uh, when the the previous owners wanted to get out of it, I decided, you know what, like, I kind of don't want to do a 9 to 5, I don't want to really do a normal thing, let's, let's, you know, bet everything on me and get into the comic book business, and I have been slinging funny books ever since. What's up, guys? So the finds that I've really liked, this isn't like monetary or anything, just stuff that I've personally come across recently that I really dug. Uh, I've been collecting the DC Primal Age figures. Um, so I have the gray and blue one. That's like the regular one. Um, and I found this black and gray one that I think is a Target exclusive. And I just thought he was real dope. So picked him up. Um, and then for whatever reason, these are the hardest thing on the planet to find. A buddy of mine helped me find this. Uh, it's the infamous Iron Man. Uh, it's when young Doctor Doom takes over as Iron Man. It's a Walgreens exclusive. Uh, and he comes with the young Doctor Doom head and all the blasts. Uh, I can't actually wait to rip this dude out of the packaging. I think he's going to look real cool. Um, and I brought these back from Virginia. Uh, picked up. Huge Smallville fan. Love the show. Um, love pretty much anything Superman. And I actually, the only Smallville figure I had was um, Aquaman. And so I found these for dirt cheap. Like, these things are impossible to find. And I picked up Clark. And I picked up Lana. And I was super shocked to see that it's like a life-size pendant uh, necklace like she has in the show and actually on the figure. So I really was super happy to get those. And then 10-inch Toy Biz Marvel Universe figures. Um, I picked up a couple of these. I love Polaris. Like, I have an unhealthy, like, obsession with Polaris. Um, and so when I saw this, I'm like, it looks so derpy, but I have to own it. 
because um, they don't make enough Polaris things. So that's kind of just the stuff that come through the door or I went and found this week. Um, again, monetary wise, it's not anything to write home about, but this is cool stuff that's going in the personal collection. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, enjoyed Jacob's finds. And I'm going to show you a little bit about what I found um, in the store at Time Tunnel Comics and that I picked up while I was there. Um, straight off the bat, did not know this existed until Jacob told me, but R.L. Stein actually wrote a a man thing. Um, so I did get man thing by R.L. Stein. Can't wait to jump into that. I'm a huge R.L. Stein fan. Goosebumps, Fear Street, all that kind of stuff. So I got that. Um, I got an issue of Sleepwalker that I didn't have, issue number 25. I'm pretty pumped about that. I love Sleepwalker. It's a really cheap comic you can find in dollar bins everywhere. It's, I love Sleepwalker. I got Pirates of Dark Water, um, issue five. Uh, I was a big fan of uh, Pirates of Dark Water growing up, so I get those whenever I can. I got the Marvel movie special for Krull, number one. Love this movie. Um, like my buddy Tim told me today when he was seeing that I grabbed this, um, Krull was supposed to be the next Star Wars. So that didn't really turn out exactly right. You got Sleepwalker number 15. Not sure if I have this already, but it was in a 50 cent bin. So I'm not going to turn down Sleepwalker for 50 cent. I got Vlad the Impaler number two of three. Um, I, it's Topps Comics. I like Topps Comics, like X Files and stuff like that. Um, little insert in the inside of there. I was just seeing if they had the cards in here. Um, sometimes there's cards inside of these, but I think it's in the bags. But yeah, Vlad the Impaler number two. Um, I got Morbius the Living Vampire, the series from the 90s. Um, number two of that. I'm actually going through and getting the whole series of that again. I actually really enjoy that. Um, and then the last comic that I got was Pirates of Dark Water number six. Um, I'm going to try to collect as many of these as I can. It's part six of a six part series, so I need four more and I'll have all those. So those are cool. Um, the last thing I got was I got some toy biz to add to my toy biz collection. I got this classic X-Men Wolverine um, featuring a light up weapon with batteries included. I'm not gonna open it, but uh, yeah, it comes, Wolverine comes with a plasma weapon. For some reason he needs to use a plasma weapon. But yeah, got that pretty cool. Mint on card. Toy Biz, which I love. I got this Spider-Man the Animated Series figure from Toy Biz. This is the Alien Spider Slayer with Twin Torso Spider Pinchers. Pretty pumped about that. And then the last figure I got was a Toy Biz X-Men Ninja Force. It's a Ninja Psylocke with Extending Power Sword. That's pretty cool too. I like that a lot. I like this whole series. They've got a Ninja Sabretooth, Space Ninja Deathbird, Ninja Wolverine, Ninja Psylocke, and Dark Nemesis. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, I got all those those figures and books today. And that's what I grabbed while I was there. Um, some great finds. Still plenty of stuff I've got to go back and get at Time Tunnel. Um, it's a great place. You guys, whether you guys live in the area and have never checked it out or you go all the time, highly recommend Jacob and Time Tunnel Comics. It's the best place in Hickory.